Hi, this is Charlie Alakoy with a case study usage for the History Recall Brush. I'm going to show you how to use the History Recall Brush to take one object and mold it into another object. So I have here uh, an extruded butterfly shape. Let me solo that for you. It's just a straight up extrusion. And what I want to do is make that butterfly so it kind of is flush with this other irregular shape below it. And turn that around so it's right side up. So um, I dynameshed the butterfly just so I'll get a nice clean extrusion when I'm ready to uh, re-extrude it after I've flattened it up against this irregular shape below it. So I'm going to, so I've already brought them kind of close together as possible. And I'm going to uh, select the irregular shape and using the control button, I'm going to click on this portion of its history. And you'll see it kind of changes color a little bit to let you know that it's active in the uh, it's the active part of the uh, history for the history recall brush. So now I'm ready to go to my butterfly layer using the history recall brush. You kind of want a low amount of uh, intensity. I have this set at five and my focal length on my focal shift, uh, you want a decent amount so you don't get any sharp edges when you do this. And I'm just going to start flattening the butterfly up against the shape below it. Let's take a look at it from the side. Uh, there's a couple of spots right there I want to hit again right there and right there I think all right uh, maybe right there okay that's pretty good so we have it flush against it but the history recall brush flattened it out also see how thin it is and if I was going to try to 3d print that there's no way that's going to happen uh, so what I can do because I want to uh, use this butterfly as sort of a, a relief on this other shape. Uh, what I can do about that is I'm going to go into my brush auto masking and holding down the control button, I'm going to hit back face mask. And let's just paint over the top of that mask it and what happens is it's masked on the top but not on the bottom which is a good thing but we want the opposite of that so just uh, all you do is just hold control and click and that inverses your selection so now I'm ready to just extrude that let's uh, center this gizmo and zoom in nice and close and I'm just going to start pulling up on the butterfly Don't think about that much and we can get rid of our mask so there we got a decent amount of thickness so if I was going to 3D print these two parts as one part, I can't just have it laying on top of that surface. It has to be embedded a little bit, which is why I gave it that little extra thickness or one of the other reasons. So what I want to do, and a little trick I've learned over time about making sure one object is fully embedded into another, is to use Boolean mesh 
I mean, use Live Boolean uh, and click on this little overlapping double circle right here and make sure your object is below the uh, test object and turn on Live Boolean. So right now you see nothing there, right? So just kind of gently pull down and you'll start seeing the object kind of traced uh, a version of it appear there. And that is telling me that the bottom of that butterfly is now embedded into the surface of that object below it. And you want to make sure there's nothing missing from that, and it looks pretty good to me. So I'll turn off Live Boolean. I'm not going to actually Boolean these two parts together, but I could if I wanted to for the purposes of structural integrity. But let's go ahead and just do a quick merge of those two parts um, under Merge. Merge visible, and so we can just look at them all as one color. So you have this irregular shape with this relief on top of it now, which, I mean, you could use that, use any shape, really. Uh, there might be some limitations to extreme curvatures, like a sphere, for example, might give you problems, but. Uh, pretty much any other shape and uh, you can have a irregular shape with a relief on top of it using the uh, history recall brush. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot.